Steve and I'm with Racing Radios. I wanted to take some time today to show you our uh, eight-man intercom system that we have uh, released this year. It's uh, the Pitbox Pro eight-man intercom. It's a wired intercom system. Um, a lot of teams are using these now on their pit box uh, so that they can have a full duplex conversation uh, in the midst of a race so they can make, uh, you know, quick decisions on what they want to do with the race car and, uh, you know, set up changes and stuff like that. It's, the intercom has uh, external controls. It's got uh, external intercom volume control, which is uh, right here. That controls the intercom volume for all the all the ports at the same time. It's like a master master control there. Um, there's a Vox setting here that, when the cars are out on racetrack, you want to try to quiet the intercom when there's no one no one talking. So you kind of set that there, um, and that's like a fine-tuned setting uh, on the intercom that allows you to to have everything quiet when nobody's talking. So it only activates the intercom when, when someone speaks. And then you have a master radio volume control here on the front. So the, the radio volume is controlled by the radio itself, but you also have this front control here where you can turn the radio up and down. So we built this intercom to be versatile. Um, so, and I just happened to be building some of them right here. So I was gonna show you real quick. So basically what you have inside the intercom is you have a master board, a motherboard, and then you have individual channel boards for each uh, for each person um, and these channel boards can be configured for various different uh, applications one of the neat things about this intercom is that it allows for up to two intercom channels so we can actually split this intercom into a couple of different intercoms built into one really and and on this intercom so you have your uh, we call it the mode switch on the intercom and you can operate it in two different modes. So you can have like, uh, you can have an intercom with eight people all on one channel, or you can use this switch either to separate those into two different channels. You can use a switch. It can be configured to, you know, delete the radio from some of the channels. Um, and there's a lot of different jumper settings inside the intercom itself. So when, when you order this from us, um, we're going to go in and we're going to set it up, you know, how you want it to operate. So this intercom will take up to, up to zero, one or two radios. So you can, you can plug radios into the back of the intercom and you can operate up to two radios, um, at the same time. So you can have some guys talking on, say, for example, the car channel, and you have some guys talking on the crew channel, or you can have, uh, there's even options where you can have like a two button headset where you can talk on one button would talk to the car one would talk to the crew so that's a that's a neat little feature that we've added to this intercom as far as the configurations for the channel um we can configure these each one of these channels for what particular headset you might be wearing so for example um you know there's different manufacturers of the headset of course i mean we sell our headset to go with it but you know on occasion you have somebody show up with an oddball type headset that they want to use. Um, so there's different switches or different uh, uh, different jumper settings inside each one of these channel modules that we can we can change and we can adjust to tailor it to the microphone that's installed on the headset or the speakers that they're using on the headset. Um, so it's just <clears throat> it's just one of the the cool things about this intercom is just it's so versatile um, and pretty much is going to work with anything. So each one of these channels too, um, we also have the capability to, if, if you were to take delivery of the intercom system and you say, uh, well, you know, it sounds, sounds good, but I'd like, to, I'd like to hear a little bit more highs, a little bit more lows, um, uh, we can tailor that as well. That's a programming feature per channel. So we can actually go in, reprogram each of the channels to kind of basically assign like an EQ to each one of the positions on the intercom. Uh, each one of the positions has its own DSP uh, control module in it. So uh, there's some noise, noise reduction circuitry in there as well as uh, some noise gates and stuff like that to kind of help, help with uh, high noise environments and you know, where we're using this in the pit lane. You can have some of the, uh, 
you can have some of the channels to uh, talk and listen on the radio, and some of the channels can you can isolate them completely from the radio as well. Um, a lot of times, to on this intercom, so uh, we're building car harnesses that you can plug the car into the intercom when it comes into the pit lane during a practice session or whatever, so that you're not talking on the radio the whole time. You can have a full duplex conversation with your driver, um, and in that case. You may just want the driver just only to hear one or two of the uh, of the people sitting on the box, right? And he, so we can program uh, we can program the intercom set up that way so that the driver only listens to maybe one or two guys on the box instead of having to listen to everybody talking on the pit box itself. There's just so many different configurations. It's hard. To, it's hard really to go over every every specific one. Um, I would just recommend you know if you got like a specific need or desire for the intercom just give us a call and we you know we can walk you through it um chances are if it doesn't do what you want it to do i mean we build all this stuff in house and we can just make it work however you want it to work so um but having said all that you know i just wanted to go through uh we got one more additional added feature on the intercom itself and i'll show you this one um there's a link connector here so if you need more than eight people to be on the intercom, we can actually tie two of these together and give you up to 16, 16 people on, a, on one wired intercom. Um, and having said that, this is a wired intercom, but we also offer some wireless uh, wireless adapters and accessories that plug into this. So, you know, we can, uh, you can plug in some Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth dongles into that and you can have wireless users out there using the intercom as well. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of a couple of different things. I have one set up here. I've got a radio connected to it. I've got uh, this one headset for right now, um, and we're going to pump some audio into the feed so that you can actually hear what it sounds like. Um, one thing here that I've also built is uh, this is uh, uh, we're going to. Uh, I don't know exactly what the part number is going to be yet, but this is uh, for connecting your intercom to a laptop. Uh, and what this is going to allow people to do is you're going to be able to tie people that aren't at the racetrack into your intercom system through, for example, a Zoom call. And so we have one of those set up today, and we're going to show you that, um, how all that works. But uh, it's just a real simple adapter. It's going to take up one of the intercom ports on the back, and it's going to plug you know straight into your laptop. And then you can go on a Zoom call, and you can have however many people you want to put on a Zoom call and tie them into the intercom at the racetrack. So, and there's a, that's gonna be a big benefit for that, especially during the pandemic. I mean, that's how the, all that arose. So, you, you know, you got people, they're limiting the number of people at the track, and this is just an easy way to get some engineers involved that may not be able to go down to the pit lane or, you know, or sit on the pit box so they could just operate from wherever they are. So, I'm gonna connect this up. Check, check, check. One, two, three, one, two, three. Well, like I said before, this is your uh, your master intercom volume. You can turn that up and down there. Um, you're probably not getting that here because you're getting uh, you're getting audio from the uh, accessory out put out uh, port. I also failed to mention too. There's another auxiliary input, so you can source another audio into the intercom. Um, I mean, there's just tons of things you can do here. So uh, let's see. And this is the Vox control that I was telling you about. So I can I can set it live pretty much all the time. Um, uh, and that way, audio is going to always come through the microphones that are connected. Uh, or you can uh, you can start adjusting this Vox setting, and it'll cut it'll cut the audio out. And what you're going to see too is on the on the front uh, on the front LEDs on the intercom. So when I start to talk and it breaks through on the Vox setting, you're going to see that light light up. That's just a a visual indication of, of the Vox working. And these are the two different channels where I, what I was talking about earlier. So um, I was mentioning that you can have two different conversations going on at the same time. So we have we call that our main channel and our auxiliary channel. So I'm on the main channel right now. Uh, if I was configured to be on the auxiliary channel when I would talk, I would get the auxiliary line to, to display. So... <laughs> I have 
I have a radio connected to this intercom in the back, so I'm just going to hit, hit the push and talk on here. And, and I'm going to talk on the radio. Check, check, check. One, two, three. I got somebody on the other end operating the radio. They're going to call me back. Radio, radio check, check one, two, three. three. Test, 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 check, check one, two, three. Okay, so that's, that's us. That's us uh, operating on the on the radio section, part of the intercom. So but that was just a quick tutorial, you know, so you can hear 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 what it's going to sound like. And so now, what I'd like to do is just demonstrate the Zoom call. Um, I've already got one set up here on my laptop, and everything's plugged up, ready to go. Just gonna unmute my mic here, and I'm gonna see if I can get some other people to uh, talk to me on the Zoom. <coughs> so I got, so I, got, uh, I, got I got my coworker Dalton, Dalton here. And you might, and you you might, might hear it because we're in the same location. But um, go ahead and talk to me, Dalton. What's going on, Stephen? <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's a really cool feature for this. So, I mean, this this just kind of shows you, uh, you know, you can have as many people on this intercom as you want. I mean, it's, it's really uh, just limited by, uh, I, really, I don't know how many people you can put on a Zoom call, but, uh, I mean, you can put tons, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So. Not as many as you want. Right. So, um, it's just a really cool feature that, uh, you know, is going to allow, uh, you know, a lot of people to have their input on what's going on at the track and not actually having to be at the track. So um, I thought it was a really cool cool thing, and uh, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of use out of it this year. So. That's about it. You got anything to add, Dalton? So I know. I mean, the only thing that, that these guys uh, – that are on the Zoom call that they can't do is they can't talk over the radio. Now they can listen to what the radio is, you know, what the car is saying on the track, but they're not they're not going to be able to key up the radio. Um, there are some features, there are there are some devices that we're offering for that, but it, it doesn't necessarily tie into this intercom system. There's a there's some there's some products out there that are, that will allow you to remotely connect to a radio, um, but it's just not part of this product. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, me going through this Pitbox Pro intercom system for you. Um, if you have any questions or uh, uh, any, you know, anything that you'd like to ask us about the product, just give us a call here at the office. Um, but uh, you know, I, I hope I explained it, as, you know, as best I could. Anyway, there's a lot to go over, but uh, I mean, this, this thing is so versatile. Um, you know, just give us a call and we'd be glad to help you out.